Hi, um, this is Lord Logan. This is how to set up RIP V2 in Cisco Packet Tracer using CLI. So what you want to do is you want to get two 20, 2811 routers. Click on the first one, turn it off, add in the WIC2T module, turn it back on. And then you want to do the same for the second one. Add in a wick 2 t again. Turn it on. It doesn't really matter where you're adding the module. What you want to do then, you want to go into router 0. Press Control C. Return. ENA to enable it. Conf T to configure the terminal. And then you want to add in a host name I'm just going to call it R1 then you want to exit go into connections you want to use a serial DCE you want to do that from serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 it doesn't really matter but I'm doing it from there right now what you want to do is you want to go back into this, you want to go into the interface and then you want to set an IP address I'm just going to have it as 192.168.1.1 and you want to set a subnet mask I'm just going to have it as a class C address because I can and then you want to set the clock rate. I'm just going to have it at 64,000. And then you want to turn it on. Notice it will say it changed the state to down. That's because we haven't configured the other side yet. Alright, what you want to do is you want to minimize it. And then you also want to add in. Uh, I suppose you don't need a switch so you don't need a switch just drag and drop in two generic PCs one for each end right, go into your second router do the same thing ENA, conf t host name You can also add in a description if you want. 192.168.1.2. Oops, no, 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 I mean, int s 0 slash 0 slash 0. Now you want to add in an IP address. 192.168.1.2. And turn I want to put that up. Now you notice it changed its state to up, which means both sides are now configured. And then you just want to use a copper straight through connection from fast Ethernet to zero to fast Ethernet on here. Same thing on this side. You know, for some reason it used a serial on that, on that side. Don't know why it used that. I didn't ask it to use that. Right, now you've got this set up. You want to manually configure an IP address on this side. And we don't need a DNS server. What you want to do now is you want to go back into here, 
Called enter, exit, and then you want to do router rip. We're going to do rip because it's easier. Oh, I misspelled router, whoopsie. Router rip. Now, you're going to want to type in VER2 to make it version 2. Now we can get rid of that for now. Now you want to add an IP address for your um, Now you want to add an IP address for that side Change that to point two, and then you got you're gonna also want to see why it's down. Mm. You're gonna want to see why you're. Why is down? I'll be right back once I get it up. Right, I'm back. Right. Uh, it turns out you do want to add a switch. Now, what I've done is I've configured an IP address for router two using the same using the same thing. So minimize F two, and then what you want to do is you want to add in some more PCs because. I made a little whoopsie. Um, I was meant to add one in. I actually forgot about that. Um, right, so what, what you want to do now is you want to configure the gateway. The gateway in my instance would be 172.16.1.1. As we know it wouldn't. Yeah, yes it would, yes. You want to come for an IP address. You want to come for an IP address on that PC, and then you want to make sure I can ping it. So once you've come for the IP address, you want to make sure it can ping. And if it can ping it, then you know it's your external address. For example, if we try to actually ping what it is. That won't work because it's not been advertised via RIP yet as a router. It hasn't been advertised yet so it's not actually working yet. This one actually does need an IP address as well. Let's go ahead and configure that together. The IP address needs to be okay dot two dot two on this side. I completely forgot about that. Nine two, the one to say dot two dot two. Nine two, the one six eight dot two dot one. Oops. Again, just make sure I can ping the default gateway. If it can, that's fine. Right now, it's time to set up the routing, so it so it advertises the other network. The 
the whole thing to do is you want to go router rep and then you want to net 192.168.2.1 and then you also want to net 172.16. Whatever it is going through serial zero zero. Oh right, dot one. So I need to net dot one address as well. Okay, so that was so that was wrong. I need to net dot one address. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your other side and then do the same thing for your 172.16 you want to exit and you want to go router rip you want to net all your addresses And then just to confirm that you've done it, you want to do ping 192.168.2.2 and it should ping it. Yep, got 500%, got a 100% success rate. So that's working. Do ping. Yep, ping's working. Now you want to do show IP int brief. No, 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 do show IP root. And then that, that's ripped now. So it, it knows about this router over here going via. 192.168.1.1 So basically now if we come over to this one which is on 172.16.1.2 we go on to here and then we ping .2.1 or .2.2 which is this PC down here Click enter, it will think about it for a minute. Most likely the first request will time out. And then if the other requests time out, which they are doing here, we know that something's wrong. So here's a basic troubleshooting guide as well. show IP route okay so now thanks to that we know that these are not um, this isn't rooted To that we know that it's not rooted or that it's not been rooted through the network for example that one is being rooted through the network we can confirm that to show IP protocol that one's being rooted, but on the other side it's not. Let me pause when I figure out why. Right, I, I've figured out the problem. I got it wrong. I didn't set this one to send out version 2. And because of that, it only receives version 2. 
So now we should be able to ping if we do our ping again. PC3. That's from PC3. If we do PC2. If we do our ping again like we did last time. to the other computer so I actually remember to type in ping there we go we get command we get a reply which means it's routed between this one which is on a completely separate network to this one this one's 172.16 this one is 192.168 which means it's completely separate ok so that will be my guide on how to set up RIP if you want another one I'll do how to set up um, EIGRP ok um, see you in the next one bye